Hey there, health warriors. Ever wondered why whole grains are recommended for a healthy diet? Well, there's more to the story than you might think. Whole grains like brown rice, barley, quinoa, and whole wheat are often touted as the healthier choice. They haven't been stripped of their nutrient-packed germ like their processed counterparts. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that whole grains have been a part of human diet for tens of thousands of years? But let's delve deeper into the story. Despite their wholesome reputation and ancient history, all grains, including whole grains, have a hidden downside. They are, in fact, inflammatory. This is especially true for wheat, a staple in many diets. Wheat contains a protein called gluten, and within that, a component known as gliadin. Now, gliadin might not be a household name, but it's an ingredient with significant impact. You see, gliadin is known to be inflammatory for everyone who consumes it. Yes, that's right. Every time you munch on that whole wheat toast or slurp up that barley soup, you're inviting inflammation into your body. But problem doesn't stop with wheat. Almost all grains, even the ones we often consider healthy like oats and quinoa, contain proteins similar to gliadin. And these proteins, they're not just sitting idle your system. They stimulate your intestines to produce a toxin called zonulin. Whether you're feasting on whole grains or processed grains, the result is the same. Body ends up producing zonulin in response to the grains. And this isn't a guest you want to entertain in your body, trust me. So while whole may seem like a healthy choice, the reality is that they're contributing to inflammation in our bodies. It's the paradox of whole grains, a food so often recommended, and with such a long history in our diets, might not be as healthful as we've been led to believe. Have you come across the term zonulin before? Here's a fun fact. Zonulin was only discovered in the year 2000. It's a toxin that can be triggered by the consumption of grains. Now you might be wondering, how does this happen? Well, proteins found in grains, similar to gliadin, stimulate the production of zonulin in the intestines. The role of zonulin is rather interesting. It's like the gatekeeper of your intestinal tract, controlling the tight junctions between the cells. But when it's overproduced, these junctions loosen up, making your intestines, speaking, leaky. This leaky gut scenario isn't as harmless as it sounds. It allows substances that are usually confined to your digestive tract to pass through into your bloodstream. Now imagine undigested food particles, toxins and microbes having a free pass into your bloodstream. Not a pretty picture, right? This causes inflammation, triggers immune responses, and can lead to a host of health problems. This leaky gut condition, triggered by zonulin, can lead to a range of chronic illnesses. The disruption of blood sugar control is often the first step in a chain reaction of health issues. You see, grains, whether whole or processed, have a knack for impairing our body's ability to regulate blood sugar. This might seem inconsequential, just a minor blip on the health radar. But let's think bigger. Let's look at the domino effect. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the average American consumes about 130 pounds of wheat per year? That's a lot of potential for disruption. When blood sugar control goes haywire, our overall health is compromised. It's like a ripple effect. One small stone thrown into the calm waters of our body, disrupting the balance, causing waves that reach far and wide. This disruption can lead to a cascade of health issues, like metabolic disorders, autoimmune diseases, and even cancer. A sobering thought, isn't it? That something as seemingly innocent as a bowl of oatmeal or a slice of whole grain bread could set off such a chain reaction. The bottom line is, to live a longer, healthier life and to avoid chronic illnesses. It might be wise to consider eliminating grains from your diet altogether. Let's take a moment to summarize what we've learned. Whole grains are often hailed as health foods, but beneath the surface, they carry a hidden drawback. They contain proteins like gluten and its component, gliadin, which are known to cause inflammation in everyone who consumes them. This isn't just limited to wheat. Even popular grains like oats and quinoa have similar proteins. These proteins trigger your intestines to produce zonulin, a toxin that can cause your intestinal walls to become leaky. This leaky gut situation can lead to undigested food particles, toxins and microbes entering your bloodstream, causing inflammation and triggering immune responses. Over time, this can pave the way for chronic illnesses, including autoimmune diseases and metabolic disorders. 
So the next time you reach for that whole grain bread, you might want to think twice. But wait, here's a fun fact. Gluten-free diets have become increasingly popular in recent years, with about one-third of Americans trying to cut back or avoid gluten altogether. So, you're not alone in your quest for a healthy gut. Your gut will thank you. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed.